Tonight, a story only on 10 is a connection to a water crisis that gained national attention. Three years later, officials in Flint, Michigan say the water is still not safe to drink without filters. So a local church here is stepping up. Ten of your size, Liz Kilmer, spent the day with them. Liz, thousands of water bottles are now on their way to Michigan. Yeah, Tom, that's right. More than 2,000 cases of bottled water were loaded up outside of Hampton Church this afternoon. And as we speak, that water is being delivered to a church in Flint for families afflicted by this contamination crisis. Lifted and loaded. Case after case ready for departure. So today we are loading a tractor trailer. A trailer tightly packed with thousands of bottles for those who desperately need them. First we did some research and we seen that Flint, Michigan was out clean water since 2014. It was three years ago this week that the Midwestern city switched its water supply to the Flint River, effectively poisoning families. And over 9,000 individuals in Flint, Michigan has lead poisoning. And we do know that lead poisoning is an irreversible disease. You cannot get back to normal after lead poisoning. A crisis that touched Devin Smart, one of the youth and young adult pastors at the First Baptist Church of Hampton. Learning that still the water isn't safe there, he wanted to help. God gave me the vision, but he used the whole community to make it happen. First, he rallied the youth ministry. And when you hear that youth don't care, it's not true because it's used by First Baptist Church to say, we heard about it, this is terrible, this is a man-made disaster, and we've got to do something about it. With the help of church members, friends, and students, they collected all of these cases in a matter of weeks. Wednesday, dozens of volunteers helped push and pile, work that will replenish thousands. We got you that's 2,000 cases of water. That's what we're supposed to do, help our brothers and sisters in Christ when they're in need. They are in need. So today is a day that shows us that anything is possible. If you just get a whole bunch of people together, you can make anything happen. And after a few hours of loading, again, that truck drove off. It's headed to the House of Prayer Baptist Church in Flint, where members there will distribute the water to families. For more coverage of the crisis, head to wavy.com. I'm Liz Kilmer, 10 on your side.